video into your course site. So come into a content area, click on build content and scroll down to interactive audio. If you do not have it available, contact your LTC or me and I'll arrange that for you. Now scroll down to enable evaluation and put zero in here if it is a formative assessment. If it is a summative, put in a mark. Click Submit. Blackboard, click on Interactive Audio. The LTI is looking to Feedback Fruits and the LMS. Down in the left-hand corner, you will see a chat, which is help available to you through Feedback Fruits. Click on the Get Started, and you will see that all you need to do is choose a audio. Now, while I was creating this video, there are some things you can and can't do. It doesn't seem that you can add a SoundCloud unless you own it, uh, which that means you probably will have the original MP3 and it prefers files rather than URLs. I couldn't find a URL that worked. So let me know what you find out. Now, uh, if you upload the wrong file, simply change the file. And what we're going to do here is we're going to open the audio and you can see you can add comments by file, by clicking on the little plus sign. So I'm just going to move the plus and click on it. And I, there's practice questions. So multiple choice, you can provide answers. If you need more options, click on the add answer. You can trash it if it's not right. You can add more information should you need to. If you want the students to answer this before they move on, you can turn that on and a little padlock will happen. You can allow students to select multiple answers if you like, and then publish. So you can see there's a lock, they can't go any further. The next kind of question is, or is not more than a question, it's a discussion thread. So you can ask some, you can make a statement and challenge your students around the content that they're listening to and publish. Again, there's room for you to add some feedback, uh, some more information for them. Now, when you've finished putting in your questions, simply come back up to the top left and go back to the submission in Feedback Fruits. Then you can see here, we've got in audio activities, uh, a question card and also a thread. So we're going to check out the settings. Make sure that you disable the downloading of any copyright material. All options, and settings are open to you to make decisions on. Uh, turn on when students will see the audio or hear the audio. I like to keep things open and not have too many uh, restrictions as that can sometimes cause problems. This is a great checklist to make sure that the settings you have chosen are appropriate for your activity. If you are creating a formative assessment, you can click on the configurable grading module and you can choose what they'll get marked on. Once you've finished, you can press save. If you need to make any edits, simply click on the three dots and click and then click edit. Thank you and have a great day. Bye for now.